Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful Monday. Hopefully if you live in the United States, you also had a good 4th of July. I know it was pretty warm across most of the United States on the 4th. Even here in Wisconsin, it was mid to upper 80s, which is pretty warm, I'd say. Very humid too, but it was a nice day overall. And today I just wanted to give you a few small updates on some things going on here. Some eggs, some baby geckos, and of course, Morph Market. So I figured we'd start out with that. So basically a couple videos ago, I was talking about how Morph Market was changing some of their policies. And what that meant is that any ads that fell out of their new guidelines would be expired if you were not on a paid plan, basically. So I had predicted in that video, I think I said three to 400 ads would probably fall off or get expired in the Crested Gecko category. And that is about how many ads fell off. Depending on what metric you used, it was about 350, I think. So somewhere between three and 400. Now, since that day, that was July 1st, this is July 5th now, if you're watching on the day that I posted this, um, a couple more ads have been posted, probably about 80, I think, or so. So we're getting back up there again, but quite a few people also bought accounts between the time I made that video and July 1st, so that also helped. Um, but with that being said, something that I thought was pretty cool with that is that if you go back to that video now, if you look at the pinned comment, someone from Morph Market actually saw that video, and honestly, I gotta tell you, I was pretty surprised that, you know, someone from Morph Market itself saw that video. They must have just been browsing YouTube and they saw my video, but I was pretty happy about that. John from Morph Market, very nice guy. We talked a little bit. And, you know, and after talking with him, I will be buying an account, just not right now because it's still too warm to ship. But in the next couple months, I will be buying an account um, so I can sell on Morph Market again. As I said before, I do love Morph Market. I was just curious to see how this all turned out and it kind of turned out as expected. Um, but I think a lot more people are gonna be buying accounts too now uh, as they wanna post their animals. But with that being said, that's pretty much all there is for Morph Market. Now, talking about some of my geckos that I have here, I wanted to start off by showing you some of the eggs I have. So this is my container of eggs that is due to hatch the soonest. Um, except for obviously the one that's dated 917. And if you're wondering how I date my eggs, I always do 90 days because um, that's a general time frame of when I would expect them to hatch. However, this year I decided I was going to incubate slightly cooler than I did last year. I believe last year I was doing between 73 and 75, and this year I'm doing between 70 and 73. So I'm keeping it a little bit colder in the hopes that they would turn out a little bit bigger uh, hatchlings. They'd be in the egg longer. So my 90 days might have been a little bit off. And by my first hatchlings, it was quite a bit off. My first hatchlings of the year took, I believe, 122 days to hatch, which is crazy. That's, I think, the longest I've ever had before. Um, but that could be due to the colder temps, obviously. And the hope with that is that they stay in the egg longer and they develop more and they're a little bit bigger. But as you'll see in a few minutes here, that's not really the case, at least with these first hatchlings. But taking a look at these eggs here, uh, as you can see, we have some from Red Velvet, that's the RV, AUT is Autumn, and then AGA is Angelina. Now, these are going to be probably some of the best eggs I've ever hatched here at Sostic Reptiles. So, Red Velvet, those are the babies I'm going to be showing you today. Just with the way it worked out, uh, those are going to be the first two pairs hatching. So, I already have some babies that hatched out from Red Velvet. To be honest with you, I wasn't that impressed, but these, this second clutch could be better. So we'll see about that. But these are due to hatch out any day now. The next one is from Autumn and Hellboy, which has been a long, 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 very long awaited project. I believe that's two years in the making now. So I couldn't be more excited to see these hatch. In theory, like I've said, if you've seen any of my other videos about this, could be getting some very crazy black, red, cream colored crested geckos out of this, even though I highly doubt it. Either way though, I'm very excited to see those hatch. Uh, and I'll show you some pictures of Hellboy too, so you can kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about if you don't already know. And then AGA Angelina, that is a gecko I produced two years ago now. So she was breeding this last year. Wait, so that would make it, would that be three years ago? Two years ago. No, it was two years ago. Anyway, so I produced her two years ago. Beautiful girl, very extreme Harlequin. And she was paired with Vector, probably my nicest male extreme Harlequin, who is not a lily white. And I'm hoping she has some really good lineage, so does he. I'm hoping for some crazy, crazy babies out of these two. And these babies are due to hatch pretty soon, too. I'm hoping that they'll hatch within the next month or so, so maybe in the next two videos, 
um, I can show you some of those and they could be super crazy or they could be just blah. Hard to say, you never know really. But that's what I have coming up on my plate here in the near future, so I'm very excited about that. But enough about that, let me show you some babies. So let's take a look at our babies from Red Velvet and Diamond, which are also very nice. Now let me just show you my finger compared to this gecko. This gecko is very, very, very small. I have not weighed her or him. I just didn't want to disturb them as little as possible. The other one is equally as small. And I've got to say, these are probably some of the smallest hatchling crested geckos I've ever seen. They are so small. I'm kind of worried about them, to be honest with you, whether or not they're going to make it just because of how small they are. My guess is they're a gram or less because they are teeny tiny. I was expecting bigger geckos because of how long they were in the incubator and also the fact that the eggs were huge. Um, but these guys are very, very small. And, you know, I've hatched quite a few geckos and yeah, so we'll have to see if these guys make it or not. So far, they've been doing pretty well. They've been out of the eggs for about a week now or so. So, so far, so good, but I'll keep you updated on what happens with these little guys. Hopefully, her next, her next clutch of eggs that hatches is a little bit better and a little bit bigger. Um, because when you get them so small like this, I'm always worried that they're going to not make it. Just because they're so, so delicate. Uh, and they always need a little extra care, which I'm pretty good at. It's just, you know, sometimes things are out of your control. But with that being said, that's about all I have for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching all my videos. I'm going to be doing a couple small giveaways here coming up, along with a Crested Gecko giveaway, probably in the month of September. The gecko I've been wanting to give away is finally getting big enough to where I feel like anybody can pretty much take care of it, and it's not too fragile. So be on the lookout for that too. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video.